You know, I'm 21, so I'm still young, but something I wish I knew when I was like 17, 18 is the most important thing you can do when you were young is somehow align your entire life, your entire, entire daily schedule, everything you do with your life to one main purpose, one main goal. Like for me, it's bodybuilding. It's just what I found, what I love, and what works out for me. So that's my North Star. It's where I want to head in life. So everything about my day, everything about the relationship I'm in, everything about the way I make money is all aligned with this one North Star. And that creates alignment in my entire life which helps me achieve my goal much quicker than somebody else who is working a job that doesn't align with their bodybuilding goals or just their goals in general in a relationship that doesn't align with it and so on and so on. So everything aligns with this and it helps me make extra fast progress just because there's congruency between my life and my, my dreams, my conscious, my whatever the fuck you want to call it. There's just congruency. So you know, you know, when you're young, you might feel lost. I found what I want to do way quicker just because there was a lot of pressure on me. I went through a lot of things, so I, I discovered myself a lot quicker. Um, but as long as you, like, make a mental note to yourself every day to try to figure out what you want to do in life, life is going to somehow really push you to find that. And once you find that, you need to go all in. You need to go all in. The biggest risk you can take is not taking a risk at all, okay? So you might be scared of going all in on something, but when you were young, it's it's... It's your fucking time to be alive. It's your time to fail. It's your time to try shit out. And the big thing is, is like, the only reason you'd be scared of doing anything at all, trying something out, is because the confinements of society, what society tells you is right, what to do, and so on. Like, if there was nobody around, you would act like a straight animal. You would do exactly what you wanted to do day to day. You would go walk outside naked and beat off to a fucking tree if you wanted to, right? Because nobody's looking around. Who the fuck cares, right? So a lot of people... Make too many decisions based on other people and what other people are going to think. Uh, and that's what you can't do because then you're just living your life for other people. And that's the truth is a lot of people are living their life for other people. And that's why they're miserable. Because they live their life for other people, which they don't truly actually fucking care or love about because they can't. Because they don't love themselves because they aren't becoming a person they admire. And so to love yourself, you have to become a person you admire and do many, many things to get your your life aligned with what you truly love in life and desire and what makes you happy. So once you can do that, your your cup is filled up, it's overflowing, and you can start to give that energy to other people, you know, in life. It's the best way to put it. So um, just align your life as best as possible when you're young. Dude. Get it done quick, because if you don't get it done, dude, you're going to get stuck with a girl one day, with bills one day, with a house one day, with a child one day, and then that shit's going to become so much harder. Um, so... Straight up, dude. Listen to that shit. A lot of people aren't working out to change their appearance, but rather maintain a healthy physique. I'm replying to this because this video got a lot of hate because people took the message wrong. I was saying that me and my coach were discussing how, you know, we've been seeing people come to this gym for years and how they just haven't changed at all. They still have the same amount of muscle, the same amount of body fat. You know, something I always thought to myself is there's so many consistent people in this world that see no progress. And people think I'm hating on the people that aren't seeing progress at the gym. I understand some people just want to maintain a healthy physique. I get it. I literally said in that video pretty much that. It's more the fact that there's people out there that want to make progress and can't seem to figure it out. And really, I'm just trying to push people to understand if you're going to do something, spend your time and energy on something, why not make progress doing that? What I'm trying to get you to understand is maybe if you took something to the next level, got some more information, tried a little bit harder at the gym, you might actually see a lot more gains for the time and energy you're putting in. Some people say, oh, you're super egotistical for saying this. Yes, I kind of am. I'm a bodybuilder. I have to have some type of arrogance and ego to me. Um, am I going around saying, haha, you haven't made progress. You suck. You're a loser. I'm better than you. No, it's just for me in life, dude, I, if I'm going to do something, I, I want to see amazing progress. I want to win. So I made a video talking about this quote I read a while ago that I love, and it goes, imagine at the end of this life, you come face to face with the best version of yourself. Your goal in life should be to look exactly like this person, to be identical as them and have the same achievements as this best version of yourself at the end of your life. And that video got a lot of love. But what's wrong with saying, you know, you should probably be making some more progress in the gym if you're putting time and energy into it. Because if you're going to the gym and you're not seeing progress, then you aren't going to look like that best version of yourself at the end of your life. So if you already have a healthy physique, great. Go ahead and maintain that. But we were talking about the people 
that are still super skinny but have been going to the gym for years that are still overweight but have been going to the gym for years the people who need to see results but aren't seeing any from the work they're putting in every single time these people all they have is just excuses i can't get in shape because of this then the third blah 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 some people even in the comments were like not everyone's gonna achieve goals like you or some shit like that's the belief you're gonna instill in yourself <laughs> is that other people are better than you <laughs> Okay. Right, if you want to get the most juicy arm pump of your life, then try out this nine exercise arm workout. Here we go. It says in reps list on the screen. Starting off, we got some easy bar preacher curls. And what I'm trying to do here is really control the weight on the way down, get a full stretch on that muscle, and then flex my bicep at the top like I'm flexing in the mirror. Then we have some tricep extensions on a cable with a cambered bar. This is my top set right here. I got like 200 pounds on that weight stack, and I'm just going absolutely hard right here. I definitely recommend trying to control the weight a little bit better. This is just my top set, so I was going all out. And also making sure you're getting a full stretch on that muscle right here. A lot of people only stop halfway when doing triceps. I don't think you should do that. I think you should get a full stretch. And we got some alternating dumbbell standing curls. This is just an all-around all great staple movement for arm days. Also, uh, dumbbell overhead tricep extensions. Again, a great staple for most arm days. Now, here's where we get into the fun stuff. I did 100 reps of cable curls and 100 reps of cable extensions. Split up into four sets of 25. I took the least amount of rest possible, and I just tried to kill my arms as much as possible. Yes, weight is important, but also intense intensity is super important so really i sometimes just love doing high value then we had like this skull crusher machine i did some sets on then i finish up my biceps with this easy bar curls right here really just trying to control my body and only use my biceps to pull it up and then i finish off my triceps with these closed grip bench presses so try this workout let me know how it goes so a question I get asked all the time is how do I get so tan even though naturally this is my skin color right here. And it wasn't no tanning lotion, it wasn't no UV bed, it wasn't whatever. It's literally just this Milano Tan 2 peptide. I started using this stuff two years ago and my skin color, my skin just tone has completely changed and i've experienced also zero negative side effects to it milano tan 2 is just a tanning peptide so when you take it it tells your skin to produce more melanin hence why you get tanner even if you're like a very very pale person like i used to be and so if you're thinking about taking milano tan 2 here's the safe way to do it and here's how i did it so there's two ways to take milano tan you can inject it into your body fat or you can do a nasal spray like this right here for the first two weeks you're going to want to take some every single day and try to go tanning and especially take it right before you go tanning now, this gets some bad side effects, like you get a pretty bad stomach ache or sometimes even like a really strong boner. So you might want to take it before you go to sleep. But anywhere from like 150 to 250 micrograms per day for those first two weeks of loading it seems to be great. And then you should have your desired tan by then as long as you went tanning throughout that time span. And that can be in a sunbed or literally just outside. And then from there, you can pretty much just upkeep your tan year round with like maybe a little bit of Milano too once a week, maybe every other week. Maybe even once a month. It depends. For me, I'll take some maybe once a week before I go to bed. Um, 250 micrograms. And it's summer right now, so I've been walking outside with my shirt off. And we got a pretty good tan going on. Just do not abuse this stuff and do not abuse tanning beds or the sun because that is how you cause melanoma. Peace. In your life, bro, in order to succeed, it comes down to every decision you make every single second of the day. Every single decision you make, the smallest ones even, and the largest ones determine where you end up in life. If you win or if you don't. If that relationship works out or if it doesn't. If you achieve your goal or if you don't. If you're rich or if you're broke. Every single little decision adds up over time and, it re and eventually leads you to where you're gonna end up. So, becoming a good decision maker is the most important thing ever. And really how you do that, it comes down to really discipline, you know? Intuitively, you know the right decision to make. It's in you, but if you lack discipline, you're gonna make an emotional decision and not a logical decision. That's what you're always gonna battle with is your heart and your mind. Your mind knows what's right. Your heart feels certain ways, if you get what I'm saying. Really think about that. Really think and put attention towards becoming a good decision maker. When you become a good decision maker, when you do the right things moment to moment, nanosecond to nanosecond throughout the day, it's how you end up in the spot you wanna be at the end of your life. The big thing people don't get is success will always lag behind you, okay? You gotta stop being instantly gratified, okay? 
um, delay your gratification. Build things that are going to pay you later on in life, dude. Because if you're just building things that are going to pay you today or pay you not even tomorrow, just today, right? You're going to have to constantly do that every single day in order to get paid. But if you can build something that's going to pay you when you go to sleep tonight, it's going to pay you when you wake up tomorrow and you're sick and you can't go any do any work, but you're still going to get paid, that is when you are truly free in life. Is when you are being paid for the, the, the success that is lagging behind you, right? If you work so hard for five years straight, you might not see nothing. But on the fifth year in one day, you start to see the money coming in, the, the fruits of your labor coming in, right? And from there, you're going to get all those fruits of the labors for the next five years. And you could do nothing. It's kind of like an extreme I'm saying right there. That's what I want you to understand. That's the mindset shift I want you to have. Um, I'm not I'm not hating on making like trading time for money. I've, I've had to do that. It's fine, dude. But if you are expecting to trade your time for $15 an hour, $20 an hour, $50 an hour, whatever it may be for the rest of your life, that is not the most intelligent thing you could do. Now, the more intelligent thing you could do is, yeah, you're going to have to fucking trade some time for money, but then outside of that, you need to be building something that is going to be paying you when you go to sleep. What is that? You know, for my my limited view of the world, because I'm only 21, a brand. A brand's going to pay you, okay? Brand is going to have content, okay? And content can constantly be viewed every single minute somebody is looking at me throughout the day there is not a second that goes throughout the day where somebody isn't looking at me online think about that so if you're out there and you're trying to make more money or trying to get attention on what you're doing in life think about how often throughout the day nobody's hearing about your name nobody's hearing about your thoughts and opinions nobody is hearing about who you are right so you need to be posting content about anything you do in life i don't care what it is and you need to get thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces of content out there so that people are always seeing you. And you may get five views. That's fine. That's at least five people who saw you today. You know what I'm saying? So that's some shit you should be focused on fucking building, in my opinion. Uh, here's a full day of eating to get shredded 13 weeks out for my next show. This diet has helped me go from this to this in just about five weeks. All right, so I started my day off with this Oxy Shred, did some fasted cardio. After the fasted cardio, I'm having 56 grams of oatmeal with some fruit in there and some stevia. 276 grams of egg whites with some hot sauce and sriracha mustard on top. Meal two is 93.7 ground beef, six ounces of it weighed raw, and a little bit of broccoli. Went to go get my hair cut, so I had a diet soda and a Propel to get some electrolytes in me and some caffeine. And here's my pre-workout meal. Usually I'll do chicken and rice, but I had this yogurt and granola bowl with some chocolate chips and sugar-free syrup. It was amazing. And I made my intro and post-workout. Intro is 40 grams of dextrose, one scoop of protein. And then post-workout is going to be one scoop of protein and one scoop of casein protein powder. This is fire right here, bro. My post-workout meal was 76 grams of white minute rice, weighed dry. Six ounces of 99-1 ground turkey. Some hot sauce, of course. And we ended off the day with a can of tuna and some spicy sriracha mustard mix in there. So that was my full day of eating. Peace out. You don't want it as bad as you say you do. You love to talk about it, you love to think about it, you love to tell your friends and family that you are going to do it and tell yourself you're gonna do it. But when it actually comes down to giving yourself what you want, you don't take any action at all. This is the biggest problem I see young people make who want to become successful is they're always talking about what they're going to do. They're always thinking about how they're going to do it. They're always telling themselves, I'm going to do this next week. I'm going to do this next month. But then they never take action on it at all. And if you truly wanted it as bad as you say you do, you would start today. You would get momentum going today, bro. Because when you want something that fucking bad, you cannot wait another day to start working towards it. Yes, it's going to be a foggy road. Yes, you're not going to know what the fuck you are doing. But watching all these people trying to figure out your next five steps before even taking five steps is the dumbest thing you can fucking do. Because the only way to learn is to get hit, fall down, and stand the fuck back up and keep going. And every time you tell yourself, your girlfriend, your parents, your friends, I'm going to do this. I'm going to become successful. And you don't do it in that fucking moment. You are just embarrassing you, yourself and your own fucking mind. 
your mind's going to yourself. You said you would do this and you didn't fucking do it. And that's why you have no faith in yourself. The only moment is now. And if you are not currently working towards that goal, when are you going to be working towards that goal? I'm gonna be real. I think the issue with most young men's dating life is not the woman they are dating. It is the matter of fact that if she left you today, your everything would be gone in life. Look, I'm not knocking being in love. I think being in love is great. Feeling like if this person left you today, you guys broke up, the world would be over. It's a great feeling. But what I am saying is if your orbit in life is not bigger than her in that relationship, you're lost, bro. That's why you're fucking up your relationships. Because what woman deep down want, they might not know it, but what they want from their man is strength. And strength is the ability to go without. And in order to get that strength, all you have to do is have a purpose deeper than that relationship. Have something you are so obsessed about in life that yes, it would suck if she left, but you would still be focused on achieving this goal because that is your main purpose. So if you are a young man and you're experiencing just shitty relationships like I used to, stop dating, bro. Stop talking to women because you need to find your purpose, your passion, your obsession in life and start going after that before you get yourself in a relationship, bro. I'm not saying you have to be super successful before you get in a relationship. I'm saying it's a matter of fact that if you are lost in life, you are doing a disservice to you and the person you're dating. Because in order to give that relationship your all, to give her the love she deserves, you have to be loving yourself first. And what that means is becoming a person you admire. That is how you love yourself. And if you are not doing that, you cannot love her. <laughs> stop it. Like, stop it. Actually, stop it. It's that Milano tattoo and beef tallow. Base bombs. Code I like. I ain't got a code, but my boy does. So get it, get yourself a, 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 a Mexican barber. Spanish, actually. Spanish. He only speaks Spanish. He also used to do gear. So that's how I know he's chill. Because we always talk about our cycles. Oh, so she. Holy shit. All right, here's my favorite supplement to get shredded naturally. Comes in this though, injectable L-carnitine. It's a little liquid that might be found in your pre-workout and your fat burners, etc. But it's more effective because when this L-carnitine goes through your stomach system, it gets broken down. You're actually only getting like 8 to 20% of that bullshit. So when you slap that bad boy right in the fucking delt, you get 100% of it. 100% of the benefits. So when you're leaning down, dude, you're going to have low energy and you're going to want to metabolize these fatty acids right here to get a better pump. All you do is you get yourself a box of these bad boys, 30 gauge, 5 16 inch from Amazon. You load one of these up and you stick it right here. Make sure you clean the spot. Oh, and by the way, this was my fat ass just like five weeks ago. So yes, it fucking works. TNF out. I don't know who needs to hear this, but start going as hard as you can in life today. I got this tattoo a couple months ago when I was in Thailand, August 7th, 2021, because that is the day my sister passed away. And I woke up that morning not knowing I would lose my sister, and she woke up that morning not knowing she would lose her life. And I am saying this to you because if you haven't lost somebody in your life, you will not realize truly how finite your time is in this world and how precious every single moment is. And I want you to start going as hard as possible because I want you to imagine this. This is why I imagine the week when she passed away. This is why I thought to myself, imagine I'm taking my last breath. I was a fuck up before she, she, she died. Okay. I was doing dumb shit. I was imagining myself. If I was taking my last breath right now, how would I feel about myself? I wouldn't feel good because I was doing the bad habits. I wasn't trying hard every single day. I was comfortable. And so that day I changed myself and I've been going hard every single day and I've been trying to become the best version of myself every single day because I thought to myself, if I'm taking my last breath, I want to feel fucking fulfilled in my life. I want to know I tried my fucking best to become the best version of myself and I want to leave an impact on the people around me. I want to know that all of the interactions I had with everybody in my life were good interactions that I left a good fucking stain on them. And the way to do that is to love yourself and that is to become a person you admire. So every single day, I want you to cut out the fucking bullshit and become the best version of yourself. Do what you know you need to do.